In this video, we'll be taking a look at three college football games happening on October 1st, 2022, and providing you with team picks and total picks for each one of those games. So three picks for each game, six picks in total. Welcome back to Cash Out Sports. Let's dive right into it. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe and to click the bell icon to get notified as soon as these videos get released so that you have more time to plan out your bets as we provide these videos on a daily basis. I can guarantee that you'll have all the important information that you'll need on these three college football games after fully watching this video. One more thing before we start, if you would like to gain access to our best exclusive betting picks to take your sports betting journey to the next level, then check out our Patreon in the link down below where we offer anywhere from one betting pick a day up to 10 betting picks a day and much more. Now let's get started. LSU vs. Auburn The LSU Tigers take on the Auburn Tigers in a Southeastern Conference bout on Saturday night. LSU collected a convincing home win against New Mexico in their latest game. Auburn recorded an overtime home win against Missouri in their Southeastern Conference opener last week. Auburn posted a 24-19 road win against LSU in the meeting last season. Week 5 marks another battle of Tigers in the Southeastern Conference as LSU travels to Auburn for its first true road game of the season. LSU won its third game in a row when it beat New Mexico 38-0 last week and seems to be moving in the right direction after the heartbreaking loss to Florida State in Week 1. Coming off a blowout home loss to Penn State in Week 3, Auburn was able to grab a conference win at home against Missouri, but it did not look pretty. The Tigers did everything they could to give that game away but Missouri refused to take it and ultimately fumbled out of the end zone in overtime to seal the Auburn victory. LSU is a bit banged up coming into this contest but coach Brian Kelly confirmed quarterback Jaden Daniels is expected to go after being knocked out of the New Mexico game. Kelly also confirmed that safety Jay Ward is expected to play while wide receiver Kayshawn Bout will return from a short paternity leave and safety Joe Foucha will make his LSU debut. As for Auburn, quarterback TJ Finley is day-to-day after missing the game against Missouri. Considering LSU has not beaten Auburn by more than a touchdown since 2015, it is quite surprising to see LSU laying over seven points on the road. That just goes to show how poorly Auburn has played despite its 3-1 record. LSU has a dramatic advantage offensively in this matchup, as it ranks 13th in offensive drive efficiency and 30th in touchdown rate, while Auburn ranks 102nd and 97th in those categories, respectively, per football outsiders. For what it is worth, Kelly was 5-1-1 to one to one against the spread at Notre Dame as a road favorite of 7.5 to 13 points. It is a big number to lay on the road in conference play, but LSU is the side, so the LSU Tigers to win and cover the spread as favorites is our full game side pick. Louisiana State and Auburn rank around 50th in the country in seconds per play and in the top 65 in plays per game, so the pace of this contest could be faster than expected. Auburn's offense is not scoring at a high rate and therefore cannot be trusted to produce points, but the Tigers rank 115th in turnover rate and could give LSU a short field or two that would help cash in over on a low total like this one. Auburn allows opponents to score on over 78% of their red zone trips, so I would expect LSU to score most times it enters the red zone zone, especially off a turnover. LSU's offense has been good thus far as it averages over 30 points per game and has scored a touchdown on over 39% of its drives, which ranks 30th in the country. I believe LSU has a path to 35-plus points in this matchup. Over the projected total is our full game total pick. Cincinnati vs. Tulsa The Cincinnati Bearcats and Tulsa Golden Hurricane meet Saturday in Week 5 college football action at Chapman Stadium. The Cincinnati Bearcats look to build on their three-game winning streak. The Tulsa Golden Hurricane look to get a game above a .500 record. The Bearcats are 5-2 against the spread in their last seven games in October and 1-6 against the spread in their last seven road games. The Golden Hurricane are 1-4 against the spread in their last five games in October and 7-2 against the spread in their last nine nine games overall. The over is 3-0-1 to zero to one in Bearcats' last four games overall. The over is 5-2 to two in Golden Hurricane last seven games overall. The Bearcats are 1-4 to four against the spread in their last five meetings. The underdog is 5-0 to zero against the spread in their last five meetings. The Tulsa Golden Hurricane is looking to seek revenge against American Athletic Conference powerhouse Cincinnati Bearcats. The Bearcats dominated the conference for the last four years. Cincinnati has started 3-1 to one despite losing tons of production because of the NFL draft. 
Losing Desmond Ritter at quarterback hasn't slowed down the offense as they are averaging 42 points a game. Senior quarterback Ben Bryant has thrown for 11 touchdowns to five different targets led by wide receiver Tyler Scott. The ground game has been complimentary as their two-headed monster running back duo of Charles McClellan and Corey Kiner has accumulated seven touchdowns. While the Bearcats' numbers have been impressive, Cincinnati's strength of schedule is ranked around the 100th hardest schedule in the country. Tulsa has seen progression in their most important position at quarterback. Davis Brin is in his junior year and has thrown for 12 touchdowns and one interception. Last season, he threw for 18 touchdowns and 16 interceptions. Limiting the mistakes has benefited their wide receiving group, allowing three wide receivers to score at least three touchdowns this season. Running back Steven Anderson has taken most of the responsibility and has benefited with the opportunity of leading the team with four rushing touchdowns. This is the lowest spread in recent years. Tulsa has had a much harder schedule this year facing Mississippi on the road and against Northern Illinois. The Golden Hurricane is looking to seek revenge at home on Saturday night. Tulsa has been profitable in revenge games in the last two years as they are 9-1 against the spread. They have triple revenge this week against Cincinnati. So the Tulsa Golden Hurricanes to cover the spread as underdogs is our full game side pick. The offensive prowess of Cincinnati and Tulsa will not be slowed down this Saturday. Both offenses are averaging around 40 points a game and it's because of the stellar quarterback play. Ben Bryant and Davis Brin have thrown for a combined 23 touchdowns distributing the football throughout their teams. All the scoring hasn't been through the air. The run game for both teams has been productive. The Golden Hurricane and Bearcats accumulated for 14 touchdowns to begin the season. Both offenses have been strong going into this game. The last two meetings have gone under the total. Both matchups in the game went under 56 points and 47 points. The total is the highest we've seen this matchup since 2016. This line is telling me that this game will be a shootout. Cincinnati hasn't shown on defense that they can slow down a high-power defense. Tulsa is the same situation as they've given up an average of almost 32 points a game. We should expect these offenses not to slow down and continue to put up points in this game. Over the projected total is our full game total pick. Georgia vs. Missouri The Georgia Bulldogs and Missouri Tigers meet Saturday in Week 5 college football action at Memorial Stadium, Forot Field. The Georgia Bulldogs look for their fifth 5-0 start in the last five years. The Missouri Tigers look to get a game above a .500 record. The Bulldogs are 36-15 against the spread in their last 51 road games and 7-3 against the spread in their last 10 conference games. The Tigers are 3-8 against the spread in their last 11 home games and 6-14 against the spread in their last 20 games overall. The under is 5-0-1 in Bulldogs' last six games overall. The under is 6-1 in Tigers' last seven games overall. The Bulldogs are 2-5 against the spread in their last seven meetings. College football's number one ranked team in the Georgia Bulldogs look to keep up their dominant play on Saturday night during their bout against the Missouri Tigers. The Bulldogs have rolled last season's success right on into this campaign as there appears to be a substantial gap between them and everybody else. The offense has scored at least 33 points in every game so far this season while, defensively, Georgia again boasts arguably the best unit in all the land. They've held three of their four opponents to seven points or less while ranking in the top 25 in every yardage category on a per-game basis. Missouri enters this matchup at 2-2, but their wins have come against Louisiana Tech and Abilene Christian. When facing better competition, the Tigers have amassed a lowly 26 total points and averaged just 267 yards of total offense. They also own a minus five turnover differential in said games. This is definitely a lot of points for a conference matchup, but the Bulldogs should be up to the task here. Year. To this point, three of their four victories have come by at least 33 points including a 48-7 conference win in Week 3 against South Carolina and a 46-point drubbing of Oregon to begin this season. Georgia has covered the spread when playing away from home at a remarkable rate, going 12-2 in their last 14 games in that scenario. Missouri has essentially been the polar opposite with a 3-8 record against the spread in their previous 11 home games. The Bulldogs should get out to a big lead early in this one and be in complete control all throughout. So the Georgia Bulldogs to win and cover the spread as favorites is our full game side pick. It's clear the Tigers don't have the firepower offensively to hang with any team that possesses a solid defense, with their games against Power 5 competition being evidence of that. 
Georgia doesn't just have a solid defense, but one of the best in the country. Last week was probably their worst showing from a statistical standpoint, and they still held their opponent to 281 total yards and 311th on third downs. It's hard to see a scenario in which Missouri does much of anything offensively in this game. The under is a combined 1-6-1 to to for these two squads so far this season and ended last season a combined 5-1 to through their final three games. The Bulldogs should be able to move the ball at will against a Tiger defense that's already given up 40 points in one of their games this season, but they probably won't be able to push the total over by themselves. Under the projected total is our full game total pick. One more thing before we start, if you would like to gain access to our best exclusive betting picks to take your sports betting journey to the next level, then check out our Patreon in the link down below where we offer anywhere from one betting pick a day up to 10 betting picks a day and much more. Now let's get started.